And thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode 18. I call this one a bone to kick. <laughs> All right, so I'm going driving, doing line 72. La línea 72, I remember. And there was this lady that got on my bus, a beautiful lady. I'll never forget this lady as long as I live because of this day. She was a dark-complected chocolate sister that had a teeny-weeny afro and huge hips. And she was wearing skin-tight jeans. And she had huge, huge hips. And she had a big, regular size grocery bag filled with chicken wings. Okay, I picked her up at 9th in Alberta. There was a, a, a convenience store, a little market, whatever you call it, located there that used to sell fried chicken wings. And they were notoriously good, known for being good. And I, I think I had some before and they was all right. You know. <laughs> they was all right. They weren't all that. But, but you know, there was a whole bunch of winos and stuff on that. I, I also go to that uh, convenience store and the winos and stuff used to get those wings and eat them at the bus stop and leave the bones all over the bus stop. I hate that. It's a pet peeve of mine seeing butt bones on the bus stop. But it's not my job. People clean the bus stops at night or, 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 or every other night or whenever they come through and they take a hose and they spray it. And, but it just looks nasty. And plus, it's a biohazard. You have people's saliva on the bones. You don't touch people's bones, okay? You know, if, you, if you're young and you're watching and you don't know no better, don't put your hands on other people's chicken bones because it's got their spittle on it. And you don't know what kind of germs, bacteria, bacteria or pathogens could be on that spittle. So just just so you know that that's a that's a biohazard. Don't don't touch other people's chicken bones. This lady, however, you know how most people take two hands and they'll 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 tear at the meat and tear it off the bone. Or you might even see somebody one handed every once in a while. They take the chicken the chicken wing and they and they tear the meat off the bone. This lady takes the whole wing and puts it in her mouth. And then sucks it off the bone like men folk. <laughs> okay. And, and, and she, hmm, and sat there and chewed and chewed and chewed and then sucked the bone and then threw the bone like she was trying to throw it out the, out the door. I, I, there's a garbage, the garbage can was by the door. At first I thought she was trying to hit the garbage can, but they kept going into the stairwell. Or, and some of them was making their way out the door. But they were starting to become a nuisance. She was starting to become a nuisance, I should say. Because as I was driving along, and, you know, she was, I don't, I have no idea how many wings this woman was going to eat, by the way. That was another thing I was thinking was, how many wings is you about to, to eat up off in here, okay? <laughs> Because it was just nonstop, wing after wing after wing. Every time she rattled, I looked back because, you know, and I'm thinking I'm going to be the one cleaning up later. But I'm also worried about people stepping on them because now she's missing the garbage can and they're in the stairwell and they're, and they're by the fare box all in the, and they're in the main aisle. And, and some people are stepping on them and kicking them down the main aisle and I don't want people to fall in. The, so I have no choice for safety. And for sanitary reasons, to ask this lady, this beautiful sister, said, please, ma'am, could you please put your chicken bones? First of all, there's no eating on the bus. But if you must, because you grown and I ain't gonna, I ain't got time for that. If you must, will you please put your chicken bone in the garbage container? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, bus driver. I'll, I'll put them in the, in the garbage can. That's what she said. We're riding along. She rattle, rattle, rattle. Eat, 
eating another chicken bone. Next thing I know, she threw it in it and missed. Oh, I get it, I get it. She gets up, she gets it, she sits back down. I was like, ma'am, I'm not, you're you're disrupting the service if I have to. I can't drive if I have to keep watching for you and waiting for you. And I don't want you to fall down. I don't want to take off while you getting up to get the chicken bones. All right, can you wait till I come to a complete stop? Or either take the chicken bone. Go on and take the garbage can with you. She said, no, I'm done. Just one more, one more. She gets another wing. I'm driving along. Looking at this lady. She eating her wing. And don't ask me, why did this woman throw her wing and it hit me? Moment of silence, because you see, this is Angie being professional at my job. <laughs> Having a sunny and a lovely day, 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 a lovely day. And I really wanted to whoop her ass. Oop, can I say that on YouTube? Can you say ass on YouTube? I really want to, but but I I I because I know she did that on purpose. It wasn't no accident. Y'all, it wasn't no accident. It wasn't no accident. She did that on purpose. What happened? I ended up kicking her off the bus. I said, ma'am, you made the bus a rolling biohazard. You, you've thrown your saliva on me. Now I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're disrupting the service. Go on and eat your food. Get yourself cleaned up. Get the oil off your hands and everything. And you can you feel free to ride the next bus. I'm going to give you a day pass. Here, I give you a day pass. And I and this is your stop, ma'am. You need to get off here. Because I can't, I can't continue on. I am no longer safe. I can't continue on because now I'm going to be looking over my shoulders. Are you going to throw anything else? No, bus driver. No, I'm not going. No, I'm done eating now. I was like, but no, I'm, I'm already going to be looking over my shoulder, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to leave. Oh, no, bus driver. No, no. Oh, no. And she did all that. No, 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 no. And, uh, but I uh, got her off the bus because I, um. And you don't play that. Okay, she threw the chicken bones at me. Get the joke. I almost cussed. Off the bus. So I got her off the bus. And that was my story of bone to kick. And she already was getting on my nerves because I have a pet peeve. And I and I try and I know it's me. It's me, y'all. It's my fault. I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I have a pet peeve about eating sounds. When people... <laughs> I'll do all that. I can't... I can't eat with you. I take my kid up, take my food, and I go somewhere else on the other side of the room. I can't eat with you. I can't... I can't take those nasty sounds. So she already was getting on my nerves making those eating noises. Okay? To add insult to injury was to throw the bones in the floor and then at me accidentally on purpose, okay? And it wasn't, it was not an accident. So anyway, thank you for watching Bus Stories. Flowers in the street. She's just another flower in the street. Okay, just like me. <laughs> thank you for watching Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street, episode 18 of Bone to Kick. I'll see you on the next one. Please like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed to this channel. It's a cool channel. I got more stories coming and some music coming soon, too. Hey, hey, it's been a while. It's time for some music. All right. So, yeah, please, please subscribe to this channel. Comment. Feel free to comment and like. Subscribe. Did I, did I do it? Like comment, subscribe, and share the video. Be a dear friend, please, and share the video. Thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>